the country's bonds, the peso, the stocks, all in a free fall. This after Javier Mille, a congressman and an outsider, pulled off an unexpected primary win in those presidential elections, primary presidential elections over the weekend. Sherry Ann joining us right now, our emerging markets correspondent, to talk a little bit more about this. And I think for a lot of folks outside Argentina, Mille wasn't on anyone's radar. Yeah, he really wasn't. The expectation was that we would see some sort of gains by the center-right candidates or even the existing uh, government ruling party. But right now, with Javier Mille now uh, being a front-runner for the October elections, uncertainty has just risen in the markets. We're talking about a libertarian outsider, as you said. Uh, he has really uh, talked about abolishing the central bank. He's also talked about wanting to dollarize the Argentinian economy, reducing government spending and taxes, privatizing public companies. And his rightist agenda seems to resonate with Argentinians. And we have seen, of course, really Argentinian assets taking a hit. Now, policymakers had to devalue the Argentinian peso, an 18% devaluation that sent the peso to around that 350 level. Uh -huh. And when it comes to a parallel market, we're even talking about a weaker 680 pesos per dollar. And really, as the current administration is running out of options, is running out of money in order to defend their exchange rate, the central bank had to hike rates to 118 percent, which is 21 percentage point lift. Uh, really, the concern right now is are we going to fall into the spiral of devaluation and inflation? Right. I mean, he's a, such a colorful character. He's a an economist, he has a bunch of dogs that he's named after economists as well. It Milton even... Friedman being one of them. Okay. <laughs> does he have a chance at winning? Right now, we are expecting it to go into a three-way race. Uh, the concern right now for investors is what happens when the uncertainty gets delayed. The October 22 elections could actually go into a runoff in November. Mm. Uh, some analysts saying, look, uh, still right now, the and it's number two uh, in the primary results. Uh, Patricia Bullrich actually didn't do too bad. Uh, she could, in fact, uh, take the candidacy and become elected. And she is center right, and that might give a little bit more relief to investors. But the uncertainty uh, for now continues, and Argentinian assets are taking a hit. I, I am curious. So, I mean, a lot of his policies are certainly unorthodox, uh, to put it mildly. But this is also a country. That has, pro that has tried some relatively orthodox policies over the last, I don't know, three decades. And, well, we've seen the number of defaults and other sort of uh, agita that they've given markets in the past. We have seen them yeah. really try to work with the International Monetary Fund mm -hmm. in really trying to win those funds. But we've also seen some of those projects and initiatives in Argentina that haven't gone well. For example, pegging the Argentina peso to the dollar in the 1990s, that was not a good experience for them. And hyperinflation is in their history. So we continue but to see. Does Mele support that though? I thought he wanted to dollarize the economy. He does want so to we, it. Yes, yeah. so we are trying to figure yeah. out what an Javier Mele presidency would could potentially look like. Yeah. Uh, so far, economists and analysts are saying, hold off, we still have the October 22 elections, we might potentially get a runoff. But in the meantime, could Argentinian uh, policymakers and people in government take more drastic measures in order to get those votes is a key concern, as Sergio Massa, the economy minister and, of course, of the ruling party, uh, did not necessarily fare that while coming in third on Sunday's primaries. 